Bam! What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video vlog one more time, the Hopper's Gun Trend. Gang! Right, real special video this one because it's actually the third year that I've done, um, been doing YouTube videos now. So I actually started way back in 2015. And it's the third year I've been doing it now and I've been doing it all this time and I've, I've, I've absolutely enjoyed doing it so much. I've loved doing it. And as you know, the feedback that I get from you guys is absolutely amazing. Um, we're in 2017 now and I've got so much stuff planned. Um, I'm actually trying to get more people on board to help me with the different things that are going on. Um, talking to lots of brands about partnerships and things like that. Um, so yeah, hopefully this year is going to be even bigger and better than last year. Lots more videos coming, lots more things for you guys, man. And lots more different type of ideas and contents for videos. And um, a lot of you keep sending me um, video ideas on things to do and different things to try. So I'm going to be playing around with a lot of things this year. So hopefully this, this year is going to be a really blessed one, man. And for all of you lot as well, I wish you guys all a super blessed new year. And thank you for all the support, okay? Big time. So um, what I'm going to do, let me start off by showing you this hat that was sent to me um, by this group called um, Remastered. They sent me this hat in this absolutely amazing box right here and I just want to say a big thank you to them for sending it. And I don't usually go for um, kind of curved hats like this but I usually go for more flat caps. If you remember when I went to, um, when I went to Berlin, sorry when I went to Hamburg I got this hat right here so I usually go for the more flat hats but um, this one's a curved one and I really like it man I, I even think it goes well with the jacket as well so yeah really enjoying that at the minute I've got so many jackets in that I want to share with you got all this stuff here all these I've got a Montclair jean bar I've got a Stone Island Stone Island pieces here to show you um, I'm going to be doing a special review of this one during the week, so that's coming. Tons of pieces, man. Absolutely tons of pieces. And I'm also going to be showing you the cops that I got from um, Braun, Ham Braun Hamburg when I was over in Hamburg as well. So yeah, so that's it, man. Let's crack on with the review. I've got so much more coming. I've had a bit of a break, but now I'm back on the scene, okay? So that's it, man. Let's crack on with the show, yo. In a bit. Right, what's going on chaps? I've got all these jackets in for the monthly designer collection videos. <laughs> a lot of you lot said you like the Liverpool accent from the Hamburg video, man. So I thought I'd bust a little joke with you before this starts, man. But let's get serious right now. Okay, let's get in, man. I've got all these jackets in, monthly designer collection videos. One of my most requested videos from you lot. Um, I used to do it every month, but I'm going to try and see if I can do it every month again. But anyway, this month I've got a whole bag of stuff in, and I'm going to go through them really, really quickly with you, okay? So that's it, man. Let's see what I've got, yo. Let's see what I've got. Right, this is the Garment Die Down 26GRX SQMN, tongue twister from Stone Island. I've had quite a few of these jackets in now. I've never had it in the red before. This is a super limited edition colour. I think this one probably came out like about maybe, must have been before 2014, so maybe it's a 2011, 2000. 2012 piece possibly because this part here this is like an old feature that Stone Island used to do back in the day they don't really do this anymore I haven't really seen this on a lot of the newer jackets moreover this jacket it doesn't even come with the 30 logo as you can see there so we can know that this is um, post um, sorry pre 2010 sorry 2014 it's only after 2014 that Stone Island started doing the old 30 logo okay but one of one of the things I noticed as well is that they always dye the um, tags well not always but sometimes I see them dye the tags so that's one of the ways as well to spot um, genuine items because I have not seen a fake dye the tags yet okay that's a size M I tried that on really cool piece um, yeah really nice one this one it's a bit too small for me I will be putting this on the old Debop and the old e Okay, so check that one out on there, man. Another one that I got in that I managed to source was this yellow um, garment dye crinkle reps NY down jacket. Um, I think I have had this before in a black, really nice piece. The yellow might be a bit too bright for some people, but I know a lot of you are getting braver with your stars. So some of you might feel like rocking the yellow. You know me, I love colors, so I rock colors. I ain't got no problem with that. I like to stand out sometimes, not all the time. But yeah, this is a really cool piece. It's got down insulation in inside, it's really, really warm. It's got a nice cotton um, thin rib collar there, so that's nice and thick as well. And we have got a concealable hood. So if I um, unbutton that, then there is a hood inside there. I can take that out and I can wear it if I want to. Okay, got the Vizlon YKK zips there, so that's there. That's all good. Run that up and down the track. You can do that all day long. That's really reliable. And we've got the old uh, pull cord here with an attachment there to 
to make it tighter so we can make that tighter on the cuff uh, on the hem I don't really like doing that personally I don't like to um, tighten that in so I usually I usually just leave that one to be honest with you chaps I usually just leave that one like that um, we've got the 30 logo here so that's all good and if we look at the label you can just about see it but it's very very slightly dyed I think it looks a little bit dyed but yeah we've got the 30 logo there so again Guys, quick tip, if you're going to put 30logo.com, you can put this number in here. There will be a part where it says, um, have you got the item with you? Just say yes, because if you say no, then it's going to say sorry. If you haven't got the item, you can't check. So top tip, okay? Now, guys, you've seen this one already, actually. It's the um, ice jacket. It's just been sold now. I'm going to be doing a quick review on that one, so I'm going to show that to you very, very shortly. So hold tight, okay? Bam! Got another one here. We've got the another garment died down 26 GR X <laughs> tongue twister. You see it, man, because I'm not going to say it. Way too confusing. But yeah, this is brand new. Just got this one in. Managed to source this one. Now, the only issue that I have with this one is if you look at some parts, it looks like the down has actually come off inside the jacket. You can see a little bit there. You can see a little bit of down. I, I'm not, I don't think it's meant to be like that, man. I don't know if it's because it's kind of like a white material it's kind of see-through whether that you can see the down but I, this is exactly the same jacket but a little bit older I, I haven't noticed anything on there so this is something that I need to find out because if if it is a fault then I need to I need to double check what I'm going to do with this one because I, I I don't know why you can see the down you can see it in some places there I don't know if it's meant to be like that some of you super experts on soap stone island let me know if this is something that you have seen before or if you think it's a fault okay but yeah I really like the color it's quite limited um, don't really see too much white stuff from Stone Island although some of the um, last um, autumn winter collection there was a few white bits but yeah they're quite rare so it, it is nice to see white but as you guys know I don't really wear white too tough because I get upset man if you get a little mark on there then it just kind of ruins the jacket that's just me I know a lot of you guys send me pictures of stuff with white and that's not no problem you've got to wear what's good for you okay so that's that on that one man this one I've got in as well it's a uh, jean bar very cool piece this one Montclair Jean Bar, if you saw the Aphrodite um, 1994 lookbook video, I did actually try on the red one. Bam, it's current, it's actually um, AW16 season, so it's brand new. This one I managed to source and I got it in the blue color. And do you know what, I really love it. Really, really lightweight, probably a bit too light for me, but you know what, it's really, really warm, so it's really good to see. Um, one of the things that is annoying me with these new jackets that are coming out, these new 2016 jackets, is they're no longer put in the pockets they're no longer putting the zip pockets inside the uh, inside the uh, inside jacket, which is really annoying. So back in the day, you would just go inside there and you'd see it, but now they're putting it all on the outside. I do find that a little bit lazy and a little bit annoying. Montclair, please bring back the pockets on the inside, man. What's going on, yo? I don't know where they've done that. There's no there's no pockets on the inside. Annoying. But yeah, this is a really nice piece. This one, you can see now they they have actually changed up their zips. Uh, Montclair are starting to use Vizlon YKK. I miss the old Lampo man. I mean, don't get me wrong, YKK Vizlon zips are really cool, nothing wrong with it, but I've always known uh, Montclair to have Lampo, so I kind of miss them, man. I kind of miss them. So I've got the cartoon logo there, should be ever slightly faded, as we should all know, and we've got the new um, hologram system that you can see there. I will be doing a video on this to show you guys how to use that system and how to ensure that your jackets are genuine, okay? But that's the jean bar, as you can see right there. I, I thought it was really, really cool jacket, really nice. Removable hood there. It's a little bit light, but you know what, when you put it on, it's really comfy and it is quite warm, ain't gonna lie, and it's got lots of down in there, so that one's blessed. This one now, this one, Stone Island Micro Eps Down Jacket. I actually had this one in last month. You saw the monthly designer collection videos. I've actually managed to source another one. Absolutely love these jackets. Um, they were like 750. Some of them have gone down into the cell to 700. I've seen some for 600 as well. So they have gone down. This one's brand new, absolutely no problems at all. And we've got the old badge in there as well, as you can see, okay? What really, really warm jacket, man. If you, It's really cold now, as you guys know. This one, if you put it on, it's gonna keep you super warm and super blessed. If you remember when I went over to Lee's and I done the Lee's video and I jumped into T Tommy Hilfiger and I saw this piece, I absolutely fell in love with it. It's super nice, man. Really comfortable, really nice bit of smart wear. Always good to have a few smart wear jackets on you. So when I saw this one, I thought it was a little bit different. Um, I've been looking for a camel, a beige camel coat for 
a really long while now, so I'm really happy that I've, I bumped into this one over at um, Tommy Hilfiger. Now, this jacket was actually 290 and it actually went down into the cell and it went down to 210. So it might still be available on the website. Some of you can jump over there and have a quick butchers. You might just see it over there, yeah. Tommy Hilfiger. Right, some of you that watched the old Selfridges video that I did on Boxing Day, I actually wore this piece right here. Um, I forgot the name of it now. Very cool piece, this one. Right, what's this? All Saints? This ain't All Saints. What's going on in here? Bloody hell, what have I been buying now? £88? Oh yeah, this is when I bought one big chunky scarf. Let me show it to you if I can see it real quick. Bam! Love big chunky scarfs, me man. This one. <laughs> okay, I spent a bit of money on this. I spent 88. Um, it went down into the cell, so it went down to 70. Um, and I got this one, man. It's absolutely massive scarf. Look at the size of this. It's huge. Um, and I, I, I love big chunky scarves because I think it's like you're wearing a bank blanket and I feel like I haven't got out of bed. That's why I like wearing these. But yeah, super cool scarf. Really nice. Uh, mix of polyester and wool. Very, very cool. So that's that one, man. Special guest appearance, yo. So yeah, back to this piece. So this one is called the Montclair Shamonix, as you can see right there. Um, now, I managed to source this one, but you can see that the hologram's coming off a little bit. There's nothing wrong with it. I just think something's happened here. I'm not really too sure what, whether it was dry cleaned and whether it's, the stickiness has come off and it's just moved, but it's 100% genuine anyway. I know that much. As you know, I don't do fakes. Right, got the old lamp hole zips, as you can see there. So that's all blessed. Nice big chunky lamp hole zips. Got some leather detailing on the pool there, so that's really cool. This is a size three. Really like this jacket, man. Very, very warm piece. Super nice. Has the uh, has the old detachable hood there with all down going out th throughout the jacket, so that's all good. Montclair badge to the arm there, as, as we all know, as we all expect, so that's really nice to see. Um, lots of down in there. Very warm jacket, man. The only thing about this one, it's orange, it's a little bit bright, so you gotta be a bit of a brave soul to wear this one, man. But you know me, I like colors, so I ain't got no problems with that whatsoever. Another piece here that I got in, final piece, is this Montgenivre piece, man. Uh, Montgenivre, I have quite a few of these in now. I've had, I've had them in black, I've had them in navy blue. Sorry, well, tell a lie. Had them in grey and I had them in navy blue. Managed to source this one here. Now the only problem is, I managed to source this one, but the only problem is if we have a look, you can see this is a very common fault here, look. Always double check with the seller whether it's got this. You can see there that it's got some holes on the side. Now, that's a problem, that's a fault. That's actually a fault with the jackets. Particularly the Montgenivre, if you don't wash it right, if you don't look after the jacket properly, then this is what starts to happen. And the problem is that can't be repaired. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pop down to Montclair during the week. They've got a, a big store, two floors over at Bond Street. I'm going to go and talk to them and see if they can do anything about this. I don't think they can, but I'm going to ask them anyway. And it'll be a good chance for me to pop in the store. So wait for that um, store tours in Montclair coming real soon, chaps. That's going to be coming real soon, so check that out. Okay, so that's it, man. That's all the bits that I've got in. Um, bam, all those pieces from Braun Hamburg came in. So for some of you that watched the Braun Hamburg video, you will know that I bought a whole bunch of bits. Um, I didn't want to carry it back with me, so they actually posted it back. So I've got some stuff in here, man. You can see I've got some bits. Um, but I'm going to do a special video on that, man. I'm not going to let you guys know what I've got just yet. I'm going to keep it as a bit of a surprise. So that's all blessed. Another thing that's going to be coming, another thing that's going to be coming for you guys is this um, wallet review. I've got a whole bunch of wallets that have come in because I lost my original wallet when I was over in Leeds and I'd done the Leeds video like a donut. I think I left it on the train. So what did I do? I was crying all the way back home to London. So I said to myself, you know what? Let me just cheer myself up. Let me just grab myself some wallets and I'm going to do a comparison for you guys, okay? So you can see what those are saying. Bam! Just wanted to do a big thanks to this guy. These guys remastered. They sent me over a hat. Um which was really nice of them. They said, mate, look, here we go. Hope you like the hat hawks from Michael over at Remaster. So thank you very much, bro. He sent this hat over. Um, it's got a really nice box there. I'll put the links on the links box below. I really like this hat. To be honest with you, I don't really go for flat caps. I usually go for more um, 
caps like this, but do you know what? I really like this one. I've been wearing it all the time, to be honest with you, and I think it goes uh, well with a lot of the clothes I've been wearing. So for any of you that are interested, go and give them a shout. They're a bunch of Manchester lads, and they're doing their thing, so, you know, lots of support to them. Um, they're, they're, they're a bunch of young guys as well, so yeah. They're, they're, they're trying, man, and they're, they're doing good, so much respect to them. Much respect. So that's it, guys. That's the monthly designer collection video. I've got lots more videos coming. Trust me, there's going to be so much more stuff. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. I felt like I didn't even take a breath, man. Damn. I'm out of here, yo. Peace out.